I'm finishing up this knit dress of mine and I'm just going to put in a neckband made out of the same fabric as these black panels here. I cut myself a rectangle. It's two and three quarters this way and then it is the length of my neck and about 80% of that is the full length. And if you have a fabric that has stretch in only one direction or more in one direction, you want it to be in the length of it, not in the shorter width part, because it needs to stretch around the neck. What I'm gonna do with this rectangle is just make a loop with it. So I'm putting it right sides together. This fabric doesn't have a crazy right or wrong side. It's mostly just the same. But if you do have a fabric that has a right or wrong side, you'll want to pay attention to that and have those right sides together. I'm going to do a stitch at a quarter inch. So that's just right up against that foot. And this is a stretch fabric. So most of the time I don't use just a regular straight stitch with it, but in this case, it is perfectly fine. So I've just made it a loop. And now I'm gonna head to the iron and finish getting this neckband ready. I'm gonna press that seam open so that there's less bulk. And I'll press this in half with that seam inside. And this is going to be my neckband. I'm using a press cloth because black fabric can sometimes get shiny if you press right on top of it. So that will help with that. And I'm getting those edges together so they're nice and even. That's very important. The neckband is always a little bit smaller than the actual neckline because it needs to stretch in. Therefore, you can't pin it like you do regular things and you actually need to pin it in sections so that you can stretch each, each section evenly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate this into four separate sections. And so my neckband itself, I start on that seam and I just put a pin there to say, hey, that's one part of one section. Then I fold. This is half of it. And I'm going to be doing quarters. So I've got the half. I'm gonna put those two pins together. Walk it over. Where it folds there, that's another section that's one of the quarters get those back together in the middle walk it over where it folds over here that's the other quarter so four equal sections we'll do the same thing with the neck itself so front and back will be one section so I've got this nice seam here in the front and a nice seam in the back so those are already there already marked for me I'll pin those together. And then I'll walk it over and see where those sections land. So this is a raglan. So it's going to end up somewhere on my shoulder. Right there, I'll just make a little snip not too big because my surge is um, only around a quarter inch and I don't want it to be deeper than my surge. So I'll do the same thing on the other side. Walking it over from that center pin. Wherever it folds, that is one of my quarters. All right, so including those front, center, front, center, back, I have four sections there. Now I will take the pins from my neckband and I will go ahead and pin it on in four places. Let me double check which one's my front, which one's my back. This is my back seam. I'm going to put the seam on that back, center back seam. That way it doesn't accidentally end up on the front of my garment walking it over to where my first side clip is. There it is. I'll put a pin there. I'll 
locking it to center front. Put a pin at center front. And then the last pin is on the shoulder where that last clip is. All right, at this point you'll see that there's a lot of extra fabric between these sections. You'll wanna double check it um, and look if the sections look even, because if they don't, something went wrong. I usually start at center back where that seam is and I get that all the way under the foot. It's kind of sometimes hard to get because of the fact that it's thick. There we go. And I've got my needles up so I can get it all the way under there. And then once I have that, I'll take that pin out. stretch this first section in. I'm grabbing this first pin and I'm stretching all the way through that first section, getting all of those three edges lined up. 